Hi, ghosts and ghouls. Welcome to Queenie of London, or should I say, for this month, the Hello Queenie of London. Get it? <laughs> Welcome to Spooktober. Throughout the spooky month ahead, we're going to be seeing loads of treats, maybe a few tricks. I'm talking shopping. I'm talking spooky food. I'm talking hopefully Halloween windows, some decor in my own house and all things Halloween-y. So I really hope that's something you can get on board with and enjoy. In this video, we're going to be decorating the desk behind me all the time I love to make this seasonal so we're going to get on with that today and transform it into something suitably spooky. I hope you enjoy. Grab yourself something lovely to eat and drink. Get your cozies on. I'm going to change <laughs> and enjoy the first episode of Spooktober with me, the Hello Queenie. I love that. <laughs> So before I dig out any boxes containing all the spooky good stuff, I'm going to clear off the top of the desk and probably most of the stuff that's on the surface. I'm going to give it all a good dust, polish the desk off so it's all nice and perfect for the Halloween decorations to go on top of. Now, I quite like dusting and polishing. <laughs> I find it quite therapeutic, but I sense if I showed you that bit of the process, it's going to be the most boring YouTube video in the history of the social platform. So I'm going to wiggle my nose <laughs> for you guys, and I will see you when we're all ready, set to go Halloween-y on the desk. Obviously, we've got to have some tunes to whistle while we work, so I've dug into my Halloween playlist, which I might have been enjoying a little bit already, <laughs> and I've got on a classic, I Put a Spell on You by The Credence Clearwater Revival. So without further ado, let's get Dustin. <laughs> Okay, so the top is clear and sparkling. I have plans for this little fake plant so he can stay for now. And then I'm just going to keep everything on here just for the time being because I have some spooky books to use in decorating, but I need to use some of these. This is still a working space, so some of it needs to stay. But we're okay to get the boxes down now and maybe Winston is going to have to go <laughs> temporarily because I have a spooky reef that can go up there. So let's get to the exciting bit. Finally. <laughs> the toad is on and we're done. <laughs> I'm kidding. This toad actually stays out all the live long year at the bottom of my bookcase because Alfie loves him and he notices if he's not there so just to keep little pooch happy the toad is a constant fixture in my room so here are the boxes with everything this room needs to be spooked up first thing I've put down just to line is this spooky lace fabric with the, the spiders in the web and I like it because it's got this like edging which is like the web let me turn this light off 
so I let that overhang a little bit and these two at the moment are just keeping it in place but this is just our base We've got these really cool pink and black glitter witches legs. I love those tights. I would wear those. And they're like poked, so you can stake them in the ground. But I'm actually going to stake them into that fake bit of my plant and hope that looks good. Let's have a go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yes. Now... <laughs> That looks quite fun. <laughs> of course, if you had a garage door, you could put those, like, underneath it. And it'd be like the Wicked Witch of the West has been squashed underneath your house, like in The Wizard of Oz. Talking of which, my Toto needs to go outside, so I'll be back. Spooky wreath is up. I love this. I got it from Sainsbury's, an absolute age ago it's all black tinsel glittery baubles and glittering spooky eyeballs which i love i like the colors sainsbury's were amazing that year they had loads it was all like glittery ghouls and sequin spirits it was a really good year for sainsbury's decorations and i think i got quite a lot but that is the wreath it's up and I'm happy. I think it's time for another spooky tune. I'm gonna go with this brilliant song. It's so fun. It was such a random find, but loads of 50s and 60s music is so suited to Halloween. There are loads that have like references to witches and the devil and you know, ghosts and ghoulies, everything. There's loads and they have stonking great rhythms so if you like something that's really really upbeat this is a fun spooky gularati halloween party song <laughs> let's crack on love getting all the stuff out of the boxes because you always forget it a year is not really a long time but <laughs> I always forget what I've got and this is probably my favourite Halloween piece. She's this China witch and I've had her for a very, very long time. I had her when I was little and she's a, she's holding a little crystal ball and a broom and I love her face. I've just plonked stuff for now and I'll work on making it look good and elevating it so it's got different heights and stuff. But I also forgot I had this beauty. I love this. This is from TK Maxx. I got this last year. But I love the spill books. And also, I really want a pair of boots that look like this. <laughs> they are absolutely cracking. I love my spill books. But I do have some books this year that are perfect for display that don't look too dissimilar to that. This is one of the books and it's probably my favourite purchase that I've made so far for Halloween this year. Just look, it is so cool. I was after um, Winifred from Hocus Pocus's book. <laughs> but I couldn't find one like in the actual size. So I went with this because, yes, it's really cool and I can use it as a prop for Halloween. But it's also an actual notebook. So let me set it down and I'll show you. So it has the eye on the front and it has this really cool clasp. But I love this on the leather. It's like embossed or deboss so it pumps out and it just looks veiny and it looks authentic it looks enchanted and i like it this is how you open it it's all stitching there see and look at this paper it is proper parchment it smells incredible i've got to say so i can actually write in there probably not with a fountain pen <laughs> because it might just blot everywhere but the paper is so so cool and I love this design so I'm gonna pop this somewhere in my display that's really hard to do up one-handed <laughs> let's pop it up shall we Book. yeah it's not moving I probably need to work on that spell
So my cauldron is now bubbling away. I just wrapped some green fairy string lights, shoved a bewitched glittery pumpkin inside and let the overflow lights just tinkle downwards. And here's where the books from my desk are going to come in handy because I'm going to use them to elevate stuff so it's all different heights and you won't see them once I put something magically here or just be under a cloak of invisibility. Here those last ones are, these are really really cool, they feel like wax, they look really bright when the lights are off. So sweet. Thinking of running these multi-coloured Halloween lights through a garland at the front as opposed to just a string of the purple ones. But aren't these mini screwdrivers just the best thing to get in Christmas crackers? They are so useful when you're doing decorating with those tiny, tiny screws on the backs of the compartments of the little lights and the animatronics. These are the best. Fortnum and Mason, do some gold plated one of these in your crackers and everybody would buy them. That's what I say. Time to get another tune on and I can't see for pumpkins at the moment. <laughs> But this one is another one of my absolute favourites by another one of my absolute favourites, The Witch by The Sonics. Get on it if you've never heard. You'll love it. Just getting the view from down here where I sit and I'm pretty happy at the moment. Let's take you up. I've done my garland and I ran the... What are they? Green, <laughs> orange and purple fairy lights through and I like the way this is dangling down the side as well. That's quite fun and I also, I thought it needed some more orange so I added some little, look, little jack-o'-lantern lights. Look at the cute little happy faces. I love them. They look quite cute and it stretches all the way along the desk such a good size i love this garland with the black roses and there's my sign with my witch i elevated her love this black and white pumpkin that's kind of cool and then over here at the back there's another pumpkin just he's there for a useful purpose he's actually holding a, the end of the garland in place with this big old white pumpkin but i've just remembered an addition that I wanted to make um, to the end bit here. Three little additions that I know you'll recognise and hopefully you'll think are really, really lovely. But they're somewhere up high, which involves ladders. And this is currently the time. <laughs> so the witching hour is close and I need to fly off soon to do some steeple chasing with my broom. So I'm just going to quickly show you what we've got so far and add the additions on tomorrow in the morning there's me legs and i put some purple fairy lights in there because i was missing a lot of the purple from where i normally put it on the garland so i like them in there they look good me big glittery owl is in position i do fancy a raven somewhere if i remove these pumpkins i might put a raven there with the three little additions that might work. I've got these candles, but annoyingly, they take those little watch batteries. So I haven't got any of them to hand. So I'm going to have to bomb out and get some of those tomorrow and light these up. They are really cool. They flicker. They're really good. They were from Poundland, you know. Poundland. They are just, I love them. And I've had them for about five years. They're good. Really good. Here's my sign, Old Salem Apothecary. I got this from Timu last year. I love Timu. You can get proper addicted on there, can't you? Um, I've been buying a few Halloween goodies from there, so maybe I'll do a haul for you at some point. My crystal ball, she needs some batteries. She takes AAA, them AAA batteries. You never have them in the drawer. Never. <laughs> There's my book. I'm loving 
how that book looks there and it works so perfectly with the salem sign hello salem my name's winifred what's yours oh yes <laughs> and that's my enchanted corner which oh i love this and that says queen of halloween and that candle is oh so strong it's pumpkin and sea salt and my whole room smells of it and i haven't even burnt it <laughs> and i love my little broom on the end so that's how we're looking so far i really want to sort out this end bit here i think it could be better but we'll deal with that in the morning maybe yeah we'll do that in the morning and i'll add that on for you i've also got these really cool half cobwebs with these really ace spideys in this lights up orange i think the spidey goes green if i remember correctly and i used to put these on my windows now i will hang them i think i didn't do it last year but i think i will because i've also found that curtain light the orange curtain light and i'm gonna add that as well i'm going all out this year people are gonna know i'm loving halloween in here so <laughs> <laughs> well I, I will hang those i need some i'll use like um, a command hook to hang these and i like do them diagonally or downwards so they'll look like they're actual spider webs but these are fantastic i got these from b&m bargains years ago and again they still work so they're worth every penny still got bits and bobs lingering in the big box but mostly that's light so i'm not too worried about that and then look this box is nearly clear i'll just show you what we've got left we've got one of them door knockers this is cool maybe we'll use him i'm not sure few pumpkins i've got this witch look at her hello come here look at her i love her hair She's mad good. I might hang her up at my other bookcase on entry to the room. And I've got these spooky dolls that I used to be obsessed with. Oh, yeah. I love... <laughs> I think I've got another one. Yes, I do, with black hair. Grr. She's eerie. I love that makeup with the black around the eyes. They're cool, but um, I'm probably not going to use those this year because I'm running out of room, as you can see. This one weighs an absolute ton. I think it's meant to be used outside because it's like concrete. <laughs> but I love the um, stem. It just reminds me like Cinderella carriage. I like that. And I do like the gold bottom. So maybe I'll pop it on the balcony. He might look a bit sad on his own. I did use it on the top of the desk last year, but because i want to leave some space at the end he hasn't got a place but never mind it's nice to have backups and options this needs to be refilled with sweets it's one of those m s <laughs> shortbread biscuit tins that they did last year i always keep these i think they're ace i will pop some like pick a mixy sweets in there and have it on hand on my desk for when i'm working and i need a little boost of sugar so tomorrow what we also need to do is go through the bookcase and pull out from the shelves which are in most cases double stacked <laughs> and pull out every book that is gothic horrific frightening <laughs> and we'll use those to display on the face of the desk on the actual bit that i work on and i think that will look really good i've got a few there but we need a few more to make it look effective this is the last little bit i've done for this evening i have put my glitzy gularati top hat with skeleton hand which always reminds me of craig revelwood's suit that he wears for halloween on strictly because he has one of those on his shoulder and it's one of my most favorite things ever <laughs> i put the little hat which is obviously meant for me to wear but i'm not going to wear it right now yogi can wear it the phrenology head he looks good that suits him doesn't he look like good with it jaunty yes so he looks good like that the books will be put in place tomorrow and then we're on a roll but for tonight 
I shall bid you good night. From the enchanted glade. Good night, good night, ghosts and ghouls. I hope your dreams are utterly bewitching. Good morning, good morning to all the members of this witchly coven. I hope you are all doing well. I'm just sitting here with a rather strong cauldron of witches brew. Black coffee for me. And I think I'm going to have half an hour before I recommence decorating with the book I'm currently reading which is this one Salem Possessed. It was written in the 1970s by two Harvard University professors and it's to, to me this is proper history. It gathers together primary sources and records from both Salem Town and Salem Village and the surrounding areas and it uses them to analyse why what happened in 16 1692 in Salem happened and it's totally compelling it's an addictive read I'm only three chapters in and I'm just so gripped what is also really brilliant about it is that it highlights that even from the get-go when the history first started being written about the witchcraft epidemic really um all the historians sort of gave it a dramatic edge. And then you had in the 1950s, like jumping way ahead, like The Crucible by Arthur Miller. And everything sort of took this very dramatic turn. So this is proper history. It's analytical and it uses real sources and the real stories of the people behind the trials. And I'll just flick it over so you can give the blurb a little bit of a read if you're interested, I would highly, highly recommend if you really just want to understand Salem a bit more fascinating stuff. And just to show you, I have cleared the desk. He's still got his hat on. <laughs> I have cleared the desk ready for the spooky books to make an appearance Hopefully some little pumpkin -y bits as well. That would look nice. And I'm going to sit here, maybe conjure up a few spells to help me in the decorating process today. By the power of magic, I'm going to cast a spell that will have all the spooky books that are on and in my bookcase and have them pile up ready on the desk for me to use in decoration. Now, I don't have a wand, but I do have a Parker pen. So we're gonna see if this one works. Ready? Liba Volare. Be careful what you conjure. <laughs> They're going to topple and I've got more, I'm sure of it. Stop. What's Latin for stop? These ones, which were on my windowsill, I told you, books are everywhere in this room. These are all by Peter Whitehead, and they look pretty scary, and indeed, they do have horrific themes, so we got to display those too. I may have to leave a few out. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, I did put dystopian things in there, which I consider the most frightening form of horror book because they've elements of the real don't they so maybe i could put those back on the normal bookcase and maybe a few of the paperbacks because they're not all gonna fit along there 
and I've still got a couple more in the post, I think, like some Washington Irving. So, and I definitely want to display that because I bought a really cool edition, Headless Horseman and all. I'm pretty sure I've also got some spooky books on this bookcase here by my door. This is my childhood bookcase and I keep all my books that I had from when I was young on here. So I'm going to dig into there and pull out any that will bring back some special spooky memories. Way before there was Harry Potter, there was Jill Murphy's worst witch who went to the Cackles Academy for witchcraft and I loved Jill Murphy's worst witch. There's a whole series but I think I'm just gonna display the first one here. Also was so in love with the stories of The Worst Witch, my parents took me to go and see a stage performance of it at the theatre. Look at these pictures. Look how cool! I'm so glad I've kept all these things. They are fantastic to look back on. Of course, this is a standard watch every year. I love Casper. He is so cute and I love Christina Ritchie who's in that film as well. I think this is such an underrated and unspoken about film and it is actually when I watched it it's pretty scary for children. It's obviously got Jack Pumpkinhead and the lovely cast there from the original Wizard of Oz and TikTok he was incredible but it's also got a section of talking detached heads for the evil witch. And look at the look at Jack Skeleton. Look, not Jack Skeleton, Jack Pumpkin Head. He's cute. But it's also got, let me just see if I can flick through. Obviously the bit in the beginning is frightening as well, because she's dreaming of Oz. She's a brilliant little actress, isn't she? She went to go in the craft. But she was she'd taken to like a some sort of mental institution because she kept having the dreams about Oz and she escapes from there and that's all quite terrifying as well but then when she arrives back in Oz and it's all changed that's disturbing and I'm trying to find one of the um wheelers who are such terrifying characters I think it's around here there they are these the noise they used to make if you've watched Return to Oz, let me know what you think of it. I think it's a fantastic film. I might watch that tonight. <laughs> These two are just childhood classics. The Jolly Witch, loved this one, and The Witch in the Cherry Tree. The illustrations in children's books are just wildly good. Look at that. They are fantastic. I definitely need to put these in the display. And of course, there is the legendary Harry Potter by a personal heroine, J.K. Rowling. I have the other books in paperback that were my originals, but this is one of my favourites that I got. It's all like golden and vintagey looking. It's such a nice addition. I'm going to actually use that on the top of the desk with something that I'm going to add in to show you after this clip. And I'm also going to bung this it's an unofficial book I think but it explains all of the references to J.K. Rowling's creatures its spells etc and it's a really interesting book because so much of it comes from actual like folklore and myths so that can go on my desk quite enjoying how this looks I use this little stand normally for my tablet but I've got another stand for that somewhere so I dig that out if it needs to be used but I like how these are looking and I can like switch them up every day so this is cool I like to get some like little bits maybe some little lights some uh, LED flickering 
pillar candles and maybe just bunch those in a bit and give it some light so at night it looks extra bewitching. Yes. And here they are. I successfully made it up the ladders and down again without falling. That's a kind of magic. <laughs> and these are Harry Potter dolls. I don't think my desk would be complete without a little reference to Harry Potter, especially because Hermione is just such a great character and she's bookish, so she'll fit in perfectly. These are by Mattel. And I still remember when I went to go and get them from Hamley's. That was so much fun. The film had, like, just come out, the first film, and all the merchandise was heaven if you were into Harry Potter. And I think they've also got stands in there, so that will be really helpful when I display them. As cute as they look in the boxes, because <laughs> the boxes are all Hogwarts-themed. But I think I'm going to get them out and put them on their little stands so they look convincing in the Enchanted Glade. There they are in the Glade with the book at the back. They look so sweet. Potter's perched on a pumpkin. <laughs> and I've just remembered that I've actually got something coming from Timu again that will tie in with the Harry Potter dolls that I can put on the end there so it will make sense in a storytelling way. So we'll have to add that in at a later date and I'll show you. A typewriter would look so much better instead of a computer, but the computer is needed, so we'll have to suffer it for now. And so, ghosts and ghouls, that concludes my first episode of Spooktober. I really, really hope you enjoyed spending some time in my own haunted home and helping me decorate my desk, which is a very, very special space to me. So it's got to be good for the season. Now, I'm going to be bringing you videos, like I said, throughout October that are Halloween -y themed, but rest assured, the Christmassy content will continue because you know that I am obsessed by the baubles and it simply won't do to ignore them at this time. So don't worry, we're still going Christmassy shopping and I'll still be showing you everything that's popping up festive in the capital. For now though, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a great start to October and I shall see you in a couple of days time for some spooky shopping. Until then, take good care of yourselves. Lots and lots of witchly cackles from London. The Hello Queenie! <laughs>